Find the number of combinations and permutations of four letters taken from the word Aryabhat. You are watching Brain Explorers, the world where brain starts working. So the question is asking to find the number of combinations of four letters from the given word and number of permutations of all kind of four letters in total. We will discuss two solutions for this question first by making different cases and second with the help of multinomial expansion. In R but we have 4 A's, 2 T's, 1 R, 1 Y, 1 B and 1 H. In total we have 10 letters and we have to select 4 out of them. So why can't we do 10 C4? If we do 10 C4 then it is incorrect. Why? Suppose we selected 4 letters and we have these 2 A's over here and this R and this Y. This is one of the combination. On the other hand, we can have these 2 A's and this R and Y. This is another combination. We can see, we can clearly see that both of these are same, but uh, in this 10 C4, both of these two are taken as different. That's why we cannot apply this directly. Since the repeated letters taken means if we are to taken two A's, either these or these two or these two or these two or any of the two A's, then all that will be taken as only uh, one means all all of them will be treated as same means from this part what we can select how many types of selections we can do either we can select zero a's or we can select one a or we can select two a or three a or four a or or and that's it so these are the five types of selections which we can do from this part Similarly, from this part, we can do either we can select 0 T's or 1 T or 2 T. Okay. Similar and from this part, we can have 4 C, 0 type of selections, 4 C, 1 type of selection. Why? Because all of them are different. By the way, this one is not important. So, now if we are told that if we have to select something that has all distinct, uh, let us suppose we have to select four letters and all distinct. So what can we do? We have to select one from this one, second from this part and third from any of these means in total we have to uh, in total we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 six distinct elements out of which we have to select four so this can be done by 6c4 let's write it here it can be done by 6c4 and if we are asked to select uh, four elements such that two are same and remaining two are distinct and what can we do? We can select first two from the, this first part containing A's or we can uh, select the first two from the part containing uh, from the part of T's means from two given elements we have to select any one means uh, if we selected suppose this uh, if we choose this first part of A's and we get two A's over here. So there is no need to select anything from the second part this t1 and if we selected two t's then there is no need of selection anything from the first part okay so this can be done in 2c1 multiplied by and now if we have supposed selected from a then we can still selected a t for the distinct part for the distinct part we can select one t 
and then there are there is r y b h means from five uh, remaining elements five type of remaining elements we can select any three uh, sorry any two nice so what we have to do first we have to divide uh, this problem into different cases in which it is given that uh, how many types of same and how many types of different letters we have to select so suppose we have to select four letters in which all all the um, four letters are same means like x x x x in case 2 let us suppose we have we have to select three of same type and rest of different like x x x and y in this way here we have divided the cases uh, we divided the um, uh, total problem into five cases so in how many ways we can select uh, the four letters such that all are same obviously we can select only from these a's uh, means we if we select all the four a's then it will be of the first kind no other way is possible three of same kind and fourth of distinct here also three of same kind is not possible for any of the letter only a can do this so first letter will be a means from, from this first part we will select the first part multiplied by for the this one for r we have one two three four and five five different type of elements and from these five different types of element we have to select any one means five c one here in the third case uh, first two should be of one kind and second two should be of one kind so means uh, um, here we uh, we can select two same type of a's also two same type of t's also and uh, we have to two we have to select two from this first part two from this second part and uh, and then we will get the total number of combinations in this type of case means from two different type of elements two different type of elements means a and the part of a and the part of t we have to select two means this can also be done only in one way like a a t t no other possible combination is here fourth one is two same kind <coughs> two of same kind and remaining of uh, remaining distinct so two of same kind means either from a or from t so two c one and remaining from one two three four five means 5 c 2 in this we have just discussed um, previous also all distinct means first one from here second one from here third fourth fifth six from six different types we have to select any uh, four all these are even here so it is equal to one this one is five it is one it is 20 and uh, this one is 15 now if we can uh, find the permutation of each of the case and then we multiplied it by the number of such uh, combinations then we will get the total permutation so in how many ways this how many ways the permutation of this first case is possible here we have four letters so we will write four factorial divided by since four are repeated so will divided by 4 factorial that is equal to 1 for the second case here also 4 factorial divided by 3 are repeated so divided by 3 factorial is equal to 4 here 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial because x is 2 times y is also 2 times so this one is equal to 6 4 factorial is 24 divided by 4 here 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial that is 12 and in the last one we have 4 factorial that is 24 now total permutations means for all these cases we will multiply it by 
permutation of each. We will get total permutation of each case means 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, 6 multiplied by 1 is 6, 12 multiplied by 20 is 240 and uh, 15 multiplied by 24 is 360. Now on adding all these we will get total combinations equal to 42 and total permutations equal to 627. So these two are the required answers. Let us do the same thing with the help of multinomial expansion. Let us see how this multinomial expansion will help us. Suppose we have a plus b multiplied by c. Uh, Let us take x plus y plus z and multiplied by something like uh, lambda plus alpha plus beta plus gamma. Now on multiplying this, what kind of terms we will get? We will get something like a x beta we can get b y lambda we can have uh, a z lambda we can get b y beta etc you can see that one of the letters here other are all others are also possible you can see that first um, letter or the first variable is from the first bracket at least one of the variable is from first bracket another variable is from the second bracket and the third one is from the third bracket in this property we are gonna use now suppose we it is written like 1 plus x plus x square and 1 plus x okay so and here if we find the coefficient of x what does this mean if we find the coefficient of x in how many ways we can get it either this one is multiplied by this x this one and this x in this way we will get the coefficient of one or we can multiply by the we can get, uh, get x by multiplying this x from this one in this way also we can get a term in which x is present over there so we can say that uh, coefficient of x is 2 obviously coefficient of x is 2 what we are doing from the first bracket we can uh, get our exponent of x 0 or 1 or 2 0 or 1 or 2 in the second from the second bracket we can get the exponent of x as 0 and 1 0 and 1 we have to find the coefficient of x nice so it can be done by either selecting either, either selecting nothing from this first bracket and selecting 1 from this second bracket or we can get it the get it by selecting nothing from this second uh, bracket and selecting one from the uh, sorry selecting one from the first bracket it is similar as we were doing in the case of Aryabhat. some some a were written over there there were some t's there were r y b h this was there the similar type of thing we were doing over there it was possible for us to select either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 a's from the first bracket it was possible for us to select 0 or 1 or 2 or t's from this second part it was it is possible for us to either select r either 0 times or 1 times b for 0 times 1 times y 0 1 h 0 1 we can convert this problem into multinomial expansion what this 2 is given this 2 is telling us in how many ways we can get uh, we can select something uh, we um, we can select such that the coefficient of x is 1 and we can convert this problem into this problem this time we will find the coefficient of 4 
from this first part we can select either 0 or 1 x raised to the power 1 x raised to the power 2 x cube x to the power 4 from this second part we can select either first 1t or 2t's or just nothing so it is x to the power 0 means 1 1 x raised to the power 1 and 2 and from for this r either we can select it means x to the power uh, 1 or we uh, we just can leave it so x to the power 0 similarly for all other letters if we find the coefficient of 4 it will tell us in coefficient of x raised to the power 4 it will tell us that in how many ways we can select four letters from these so you will find you can find it yourself you will get 42 so, uh, all the steps of for finding the coefficient of 4 are shown here now what in the case of permutations in the case of permutations also we will do something similar since there will be four letters so there uh, in, since there will be four letters so their permutations for each letter is four factorial but if we select suppose if we select two a's from the first uh, from the first part then we will have to divide it by two factorial if we select three a's then we have to divide the permutations by 3 factorial and if we select 4 a's then we have to divide it by 4 factorial great so in this way we can write others also 2 factorial and uh, for the remaining one all are distinct and same so we can write power 4 here here also on finding the coefficient of 4 coefficient of uh, x raised to the power 4 you will find 627 steps are shown here so this these were the two solutions for our question don't forget to like and share our video and for more such videos subscribe to our channel brain exploders thanks for watching